Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and a warm welcome back to the channel. And it's definitely warm for me because I'm here in Mallorca at the moment. And uh, I've brought this DJI Mavic Mini drone over with me to unbox for you guys. And uh, this isn't just the normal Mavic Mini, it's the Mavic Mini Fly More Combo. So we're going to be unboxing it and hopefully flying it around here. So uh, should be good fun because we've got miles of open space. Now I just want to say a massive thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for hooking me up with the Mavic Mini drone. I do really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to pick up one for yourselves, I'll be putting a link in the description. But it's not just drones and TVs that they sell, it's sell a load of other technology. So they sell things like laptops, PCs, PC components, games, games consoles, um, home tech like smart lighting, smart doorbells, just absolutely loads of it. So if you want to pick up some of the latest technology, then please go and check out the guys at box.co. UK. Now I'm going to start off as always by showing you guys around the outside of the packaging and uh, I must admit I am a fan of DJI's packaging. Always reminds me of Apple products, it's you know very minimalistic and gives you a nice view of what's inside. So on the front as we can see it's the Ma Mavic Mini Everyday Fly Cam Fly More Combo. We get a look at some of the contents. Uh, bottom right hand corner it says ultralight 249 grams. Moving around to the side and uh, yeah we've got it there again 249 grams ultralight 30 minute max flight time 4 kilometers HD video transmission vision sensor plus GPS precise hover three axis gimbal 2.7k camera and simplified recording and editing and then finally around the uh, front just got another look there at the drone and the controller with a phone attached so let's get a knife and uh, get this box open so what do you think of the uh, surroundings for this unboxing then I think it looks very nice with the pool there in the background. Uh, shame it's not my house, I do all my unboxings like this. And I do love unboxing uh, drones, they are very fun to do. I'm a bit of a drone fan. So uh, looking at the inside of the box, in, as you can see, it's very neatly laid out here. So first off, We've got the uh, case there, it says DJI Mavic on it. Again, very nice. Like the color of that, it's a light gray. I've got a handle on it. There we go. Oh, that looks smart, that does. So uh, we've got the drone itself there. I don't know what to expect with this at all. I've never watched any unboxings of this. I've deliberately tried not to. So that looks like our uh, charger there for the batteries. Then we have, I do love unboxing these, it is great. I'm like a kid at Christmas, absolutely love it. I've got to remember I put all this lot back in. Good job I'm recording it really, because uh, I've got to try and get this lot back through uh, customs when I go back in the UK. They must wonder what's going on. The amount of tech I brought out must have gone mad. So it looks like we've got the uh, controller sticks there. I'm guessing they are potentially spare ones. Could be wrong, but I know I did have spares with my previous drone. Um, that looks like a little screwdriver there. Let's just open up this bag and have a look. Yeah, a tiny little screwdriver, and that'll be for uh, attaching the different props, just like so. Then we have a few different cables there so this will be attaching the controller to a mobile phone so depending on what phone you've got so we've got a uh, one there for a iPhone micro USB USB type C for your more modern Android phones so uh, that'll be the one I'll be using for my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 
more bags and that one a micro USB cable there and a, another micro USB cable. Then we've got um, what looks like the controller itself. Now this is more basic than the one I had uh, before. I had a little screen on mine. Um, this hasn't got anything at all, but you know, this is the entry level model and uh, supposedly a lot easier to fly. So as you can see, there's no thumbsticks on it at the moment. You have to put those on. And uh, yeah, there we go. We can confirm that those other ones were spare because I've uh, got a couple tucked in there. Really clever design. Just screw on like so. Keeps it nice and compact for traveling. Obviously we're gonna uh, hook up one of these cables for the phone so one end goes in there and then the other end simply sits through that gap there where you attach your phone and uh, you use then your phone screen to navigate the drone and that feels really nice in the hand so we've got a couple of uh, buttons there we've got power button we've got our landing button there or home button and I just move these antennas around, give you a look like that. So record button there for your video, one for photographs. That I'm guessing is, if it's like me, other one, it'd be for controlling the gimbal up and down. So all pretty straightforward. I'm guessing, uh, again, potentially some of these buttons may be customizable. I know it was uh, on my previous one. Now these uh, antennas can be moved up and down a little tip for you when you're flying your drone that you need these facing towards where the drone is some people make a mistake and put those forward like that and have these facing towards it which is not right it's that way right so let's set that to one side have a look at this uh fun little box just here and uh oh they are uh it's like three bags of props there so uh Plenty of spares for if we have any little accidents. And uh, in the bottom of there is some screws as well. So uh, yeah, screws and propellers. And uh, that's what you get for having the fly more combo. So if you do hit anything, you know, you've not got to be ordering spare parts. And uh, a lot of people I can imagine that will be buying these will be new to the uh, drone game. So let's get the drone out itself and that is well ridiculously light and i know i've not got a battery attached but still that weighs it's like a packet of fags that is that's cigarettes uh, for you guys you don't know what i mean when i say fags um yeah it literally weighs absolutely nothing it's so light so let's uh pull off some of these stickers on here so we can unfold the props. So I'm going to fold out these side ones first and then pull back the rear ones. And there we go. Let's just move this box to one side. I've got to say, it is a lovely kit. Um, you know, if you are new to all this, let's just undo this here. So this is your, your cover. For, uh, when you're transporting it there's the gimbal and camera so yeah if you know you are new to the drone game now obviously I've not flown it yet but this does seem like a real good pack to go for more than likely you are going to have um, the odd sort of accident with it so having all the spare parts and the batteries means that you know you're going to get in a lot of uh flight time which is uh really handy because uh nothing worse when you start getting used to flow flying the drone and the battery goes flat and you've go, got to uh, land it go and charge it up again you know it's a bit of a, a pain in the backside so that's where we pop our battery in there 
micro USB cable and SD card. Now, this is something that I just want to touch on. That, um, not that I can see, and as far as I know, this does not come with an SD card. So you may want to uh, make sure that you order one of those with your drone. So uh, let's move on. We've got loads of stuff in this box. So this looks like the propeller guards. Yeah, there we go, propeller guards. I'm not gonna bother getting those out because to be honest, not gonna be uh, too up my own backside, but I have flown a few drones. So I probably won't be using those myself. And uh, they're generally uh, more useful indoors. So again, you know, if you're new to this, then you would put, put those on, maybe try it out in your living room or something like that. You know, you're not gonna lose the drone. Worst that's gonna happen, you know, you're gonna bang into something. So what do we have here? Pretty weighty, the batteries. There we go, there's our battery. Quite small, uh, which obviously it's gotta be for uh, a drone of this size. It's simple enough to just slot in like that, clips into place, push the flap down, there you go. So let's uh, get this bad boy up in the air. Right, so on the screen, it now says takeoff permitted. We've got the drones over there just on the grass and I'm going to start recording video and I'm going to press to take off. Hold that down. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So what it means by the home point is if it loses uh, connection, it will automatically fly itself back hopefully to that spot or very close to that spot, you know, maybe within sort of one or two meters. So I have uh, changed these sticks to uh, my way of uh, flying. Now you can customize these whatever way you want. There's some presets. So you can spin it around nice and easy like that. Give ourselves a wave. There we go. And to be fair, it's uh, pretty quiet. Let's take it up a little bit higher. Give you guys a bit of an aerial view of uh, what our villa is like. I'm just going to go backwards a bit as well at the same time. So just going back slowly now, but gaining height at the same time. Now, if I want to control the gimbal, I've got this wheel just there which I pull or push backwards and forwards to control where I want to look. So that's our uh, villa just there. So let's uh, take a little fly around it. So I'm obviously uh, manually doing this and but there are sort of preset modes that you can do where it will uh, do a nice big circle or uh, some other fancy sort of moves if you you know you're not used to uh, flying drones please let me know what you think of my uh, flying skills or camera work there so now we're over the back just over this direction but what we're going to do is uh, fly over, or go get a bit more height, I think. And uh, let's uh, head on down the road a bit. So uh, where should we aim for? Let's go over to these buildings over here. 
So we're going to push on forwards. At the moment, a distance of 80 metres and a height of 55 metres. So we're now heading off in this direction. Let's get a little bit more height. So we we'll take it out to about 300 meters. Here we go, 300 meters. Spin it back round again. And there we go, you can see the villa just there. I'll tell you what, let's head on over to uh, one of these villas over here. Which one should we go for? We're head on over here. So hopefully this would give you guys an idea of what to expect. You know, sort of the range. Obviously this isn't a max range test. But, you know, these drones, I think, to be fair, for close quarter stuff, is great. I mean, you know, most people don't really need to fly this far out. Uh, I know for me especially, you know, this is going to be more than enough distance-wise. So we're getting a weak signal just there, uh, but you know, quite often you will get that. It will just drop out for a second, just like any other Wi-Fi signal, really. So there we go, we've got a few villas there. And uh, just pan the, oh, I've gone a bit too far there. Pan up, and there you can see the villa just up the top there. So let's uh, fly back again. And also when it comes to like weak signal and that, it all depends on which way you're uh, facing the antenna as well, which you're uh, just up there. I could probably align myself a little bit better and uh, you know, get rid of that weak signal. So what I'm gonna do is uh, start bringing that height down now. So dropping it down to 80 there. Seventy. And uh, we should be able to uh, see the drone very soon. We can hear it. And yeah, there it is. I don't know if we can Get that coming in there now. And there we go. And the sir face the drone way to us for the landing there. Just gonna hold back on the stick. And then it should land itself. Landing. And uh, there we go. Simple as that. So I think that about wraps up this video. And uh, once again, a massive thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for sending me over the drone. And uh, if you have liked this video today, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of the same in the future, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. So, thanks very much for joining me today. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.